rising of the gods. That's exactly what we need to do. So we now, as black gods, could come together and actually help to manifest the works of all of our great ancestors. The rising of the gods, you know, was very uplifting because, you know, I was linked Brethrens who were very progressive in their works. How to rise into that godly nature and how to, to really sit in that creative self as a god. Let the love family welcome forward to another episode of Rising of the Gods podcast. I am here with the gods and today we're talking about fortitude of a god, the importance of fortitude of a god. And this one, I don't know if we could have a better presenters better people up here vibing with me when we talking about this subject because the work that we're all putting in requires a high level of that fortitude. So it's an honor to be on this panel, on this podcast with y'all. And why don't y'all go ahead and, and bless up the people one time. Give thanks, you know. I will give thanks for the gathering. Ayana is the honor of the Prophet Jamar Seen. And we are here with a with fellow gods and brethren. And, you know, um, we give thanks for the fellowship and for the, and for, for, for the, for the togetherness and for the, the meeting of the souls, you know, the gathering of the souls, the alignment of the heavens, you know, in order for all of us four to be here, you know, so we give thanks. Peace, brothers, brother Reza Islam, uh, again, another, another powerful episode, a meeting of the minds. Uh, unity of the spirits of our brothers across, you know, this uh, small part of the universe that belongs to us as small gods in a big world. Um, just always thankful to be a part of the work that we're doing collectively in different parts of the planet. And I uh, just truly eager to get into this discussion because I think this is a, this is a timely one right here. I think a lot of people need to hear this, especially the men. Um, I, think, I think it's really going to help. So, again, give thanks. Truly honored to be here again. Rastafari, Holy Manuel Islas, Jack. Rastafari, do give thanks for life and a mighty life. Give her to give thanks, definitely. For all good things around us, I send from Zion above to so praise Farai for his divine love. You know, um, definitely give thanks for the Sabbath. Give thanks for the six days of labor and the seven day of rest. You know, give thanks that even I'm in creation that and nature, you know, the laws and the rules of nature, you know, are, are designed for the bare sustainability of nature and man being part of nature. You know, and man being uh, nature in its very essence. You know, all the rules of creation, all the natural laws of nature you know, are, are very significant that we follow them even to actually remain relevant and alive and be able to remain in tune with nature. Definitely, so give thanks, I'm right, Honorable Chris Kailash Leons. Give thanks for being in your divine presence and definitely, as it is rare and precious like gems and gold, and rubies as we do celebrate the the, um, the passing the death of, of the Queen of England. You know, and it is very rare that that you find young man and younger man, you know, sit down together and have that level of fellowship. So I do give thanks and I glorify the opportunity to sit down with some younger souls. Right, so in that in that seat I am the one of the more numer numerical age. That's why I give thanks for India and a beautiful presence. Jack, last of all, right? Give thanks, give thanks. Definitely got some, some old souls in here, though. Definitely got some old souls. But um, it's a potent topic, and, and I want to start off with Honorable Prophet Jamar and just the last couple of years of music, it seems to be about this fortitude, like the, the previous song, Never Give Up. You know, I mean, it's a big, big message, you know, even safe and sound, right? Freedom fighters, like these songs that are coming through is really coming through with that, that fortitude, you know? So I would love to, to hear about the fortitude and like even the, the space of like 
putting this music out because I know you're very intentional with what you're with the music that you're putting out. So with the the times we're in right now and the fortitude and the music that you're creating, if we could get some information depths into the fortitude of a god and that importance to you and what that means. Yeah, well, um, you know, doing music professionally, you know, is a, you know, is a is a very new dynamic, you know, in you humanity, you know, it's. It's a little bit different than ones who are um, working closely with material things, you know. Um, yeah, um, you know, you have ones who work within agriculture, you know, and you have ones who work within textile and in um, architecture and all of these things, but the ones who work in music, you know, they we highly involved with the invisible things, you know. And um yeah, so it that in itself requires a level of faith, especially in the beginning, you know, when you can't really see what you're working on and you can't really, you can only hear it, you know, and you can feel it, but the, to really express it to someone else you have to really play you know, you have to play a certain game almost. Forget that that invisible thing that you work on from from you to someone else, you know, halfway around the world. You know. So it take a lot of um resilience more than anything else, you know. And you have to learn how to find beauty in trying and trying and trying and trying again, you know. So I find for our generation, however, like trying, having to try over and over at the same thing, um, it sometimes frustrates us, you know, cause like, you know, we, we grew up having this sort of conditioning that, um, you know, things come by conveniently, you know, and, and yeah. You know, cause I would grow up in the computer era where you can just ask Siri, Siri, how do I? You know, you can just look on YouTube. So, you know, it really take more resilience on a mental level, and and you know, even on an emotional intelligence type of level. You know, it take a lot of resilience to um, try every day just the same. Just keep trying and trying and trying. You know what I mean? And and not just trying, but actually knowing, because you're only trying if there's no knowing that you're working on this thing, and that requires enough faith, you know, because sometimes you can be working for years before there's any material evidence of what you're working on, you know, like for years, so for all of them years when it's invisible and non-material and is still, you know, it's... Um, primal form it, it do take a lot of that and um so when when i when i make tunes like never give up the fight and all of them tunes just i can or any one of them song is just because i know that my generation need that more than you know what i mean more than any other thing i could sing about you know just just exposing to someone else the beauty in trying you know, is is one of the main things our generation need. You know, because everything that we need to learn and do is is gonna be dependent on how fortified we are on the various levels. You know, from spiritual, physical. You know. Yeah, truly. So, what are some things when you want to speak? If you're speaking to the the generation right now. Uh, especially the men out there, the gods out there, uh, what would you want to say about fortitude and and the importance and even like how to build it up? Well, you know, it 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 followed to faith. You know, faith is faith is a is a you know, and especially as Rastafari, you know, our whole story is about faith. 
you know, and um, a people having faith that they are in the, 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 the divine plan for humanity and having faith that um, certain philosophies can actually find its way into human consciousness. You know, like that take no faith because, you know, to, to be born in a time when people is literally the opposite of what we know life will eventually be like and that life will have to be like inevitably because it's either, it's either His Majesty fulfilled or total demise. You know, there is no in between, you know. So that's the that's the faith, you know. So for all the you them, and especially the human male them who designated to live the life of a man side by side with the the, the woman and the children of the earth. Um, I think there is a lot of faith we have to have in our purpose, you know. Um, a lot of faith, because as we the honorable priest said earlier before we start record, you know, um, knowing that your woman is right, it requires faith. You know, if if you if if you don't have ultimate faith in your woman as a goddess, you know that no matter how what your personal intuition might say, you know, she is right. That it requires faith. And I'm knowing that, you know what I mean? And that 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 is something where most, not just man, but, you know, the man, man and men and women, you know, are like, you know, they're, people just don't have faith in, in each other very easily <laughs> in this time, you know? So to really expose the people that there is beauty in that, in having faith in someone else and having ultimate faith, like for for a man to have ultimate faith in a woman, um, yeah, it, it it that that's that's something where I would say I. Them things are the main practices of my day to day life. You know, the thing that I'm strive for the most, and that's the reason why I can keep trying and and knowing say. The creator is active within me, you know, and um, the creator is, um, I am like a powerhouse for creation, you know, so each one of us is like a battery, the creation use it to execute divine works, you know, in, in but the, the works are only divine to you if you know that it is divine. Otherwise, it's just you trying to do things and not, you know. And so, and that's the one thing I have observed about my journey, where, you know, I, I, I never really felt like I was, um, there was always this knowing. I remember in high school, when I was in high school, the first day of high school, I tell my I tell my friends in high school that I'm not going to finish high school because by the time I reach grade nine I'm going to be so famous. <laughs> you know I was telling my brethren them that in high school so I'm going to be so the the music I have in my head by the time it come out, you know I I I won't have to come back to school, you know, and when I was in grade ten. My friends was like, yo, how come you say, <laughs> you know, how come you say by grade nine, you know, and you still can't even hear the song, then, you know? Um, so there was always this knowing, you know, and I feel like that is really my true gift, you know, like that ability for, for have ultimate faith in, in, in that, this thing that I'm doing. You know, it's not just me trying out things, you know. Um, I think that is a, the real gift. And if, if if we can pass that on to, to, to some youth as a concept in a way that they can internalize it and live it, you know, 
man uh, yeah then you can really you know have have the strength for, for go forward you know yeah good thanks <laughs> Blessed love, family. I pray y'all enjoying the podcast. Today's episode is sponsored by The Answer, Nature's Booster Shop. And this is something that we all need in our pharmacy. And I don't mean no pharmacy like you going to the drugstore. I mean something that a farmer can see. If it ain't coming from the earth, if it ain't growing from Mother Earth, we don't want it. And The Answer has soursop, gully root, blue vervain, and periwinkle in there to help boost up your immune system, help fight against those cells that are trying to intrude. Go to richsoulfoods.com and enter ROTG pod for 15% off your order. Much love, y'all. Yes, my lord. Even before, um, just to just um, continue on the, on the, the bringing forward the woman. Right, so, the woman is, is the, the, the epitome, the real highlight of fortitude. You know, um, being able to manifest strength you know, and courage in, in immense pain and, and tribulation and suffering. So even the process of giving birth, you know, so when a man actually, you know, uh, sees or brings forth his own child into the world, you know, assists the woman in the process of delivering, then you have that first-hand experience of witnessing, you know, this woman going through immense pain. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about tremendous pain. You know, and then she still pushes on. You know, so to the extent whereby the the pain is the signal to push, right? So. Every time the contraction comes and that, that, that immense pain, she has to learn to be courageous, you know, strong, in the most intense aspect of the pain and push. Right? So, in the effort to bring forth life, you know, to sustain and continue creation, man and humankind. So, when it is that you, you understand that significance, that display of, of fortitude um, in its feminine essence, then you don't really have to, to fully and 100% trust and, and give to that woman just through faith, to be faith and works because it works at the woman itself, because you've, you've witnessed the works of the woman. Right? So, you have witnessed that she's willing to leave forth everything and then, you know, and, and, and follow you in whatever realms that you are, you are doing because at the end of the day, it's not like you're going to be um, um, a Rastafari and then you have an empress that probably worships something else, you know, <laughs> or you are, some people say, oh, my priest boy, you know, you can work, it don't matter, you know, so you're going to the nation of Islam and then the, the person is going to Pentecostal or Evangelical and Hallelujah, and you understand? So then, obviously, obviously and naturally, right, um, if there is not that oneness and that togetherness and that one-sightedness because you've become one flesh, Right? So then the works of the woman, that fortitude to actually push forth, you know, and, and, and bring forth life and continue life and take your little sperm, 23 chromosomes and nurture it and then, give it, you know, and take care of it and after 42, 43, 40, 44 strongs, you push it out as life. In immense and tremendous pain. Right? So when you witness these things also, Right, the actions of that of that the woman, then you know you see the necessity, you know to to honor and worship. I would worship my empress right? before I worship Jesus or anybody. 
the, I will worship the whole one, you know. I'm telling you seriously, I mean honestly, you know, I mean just because you could say, Well man, oh give thanks for that strength, you know, go oh, yeah, give thanks. So the forty level woman it demonstrates the, the, the whole aspect of it. If you're not strong and you cannot bear through the adversity and the pain and the suffering, right? You won't be able to create. You know, you won't be able to push through. You won't be able to create. So I give thanks for that aspect of 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 the God self of a man that is de definitely necessary. You know, as all the create all the um the saviors of the past, you know, had to go through great pain and adversity and suffering. You know, so knowing that that um the the higher the battle, the sweeter the victory. So I give thanks that if we could look at the the human energy, you know, and, and see that fortitude and as man because if a man is actually constipated and he has to ease his bowels, he's like trouble. You know, and the woman has to go through that aspect of it. So that representation aids the man to bring himself into that balance whereby he, he sees it necessary. Right, as a, as a God man, to see that kind of fortitude in the woman and be able to work and safeguard that and make sure where you are, you know. So, give thanks for fortitude in that essence. I know we're going to be, I'm speaking of fortitude in all the essence, but I felt it necessary as Honorable Prophet Jama, you got both the whole aspect of, of being able to give all to that woman and, and everything, you know. So if the woman can go through that pain, and and as a man, because remember the man concept is different. He, he provides, he creates also. So therefore, that, that that I have given to this woman, right? She deserves it. In that time, whatever happens, a hundred years, fifty years, five years down the line, the next day, it doesn't matter. She has deserved that. She has earned that. You know, you know, so you could easily separate separate yourself from that. And if you have to recreate, you could recreate again. So you're not giving, thinking that you are giving, expecting something, or you are giving and hoping that whatever you give, you're going to know. You give it. So that's gone. You're not, you're not even thinking about that. So you, you've, you, you've departed with that, like an ejaculation. Right? So you've sown the seed, you've sown the sperm in the, in, in the darkness of the womb of the woman. You're not going to go back and take the sperm. Right? But that same sperm that's going to come and you know, come collide with the egg and psh, 46 chromosomes and life. So it's the same um, spiritual and emotional effort manifestation when you give fully to this woman who have demonstrated great fortitude. Right? So give thanks, honorable, heart of love. Good, thanks. I, I feel it's important you bring that topic up. And um, we'll, I want to go into that a little bit more. Because I believe there's some importance to um, to dive deeper into that, but I just want to give Brother Reza salute because he just got engaged. So <laughs> salute, my brother. That's huge. Yes, sir. I'm I'm uh, I'm feeling that pain already, brothers. <laughs> the fortitude of growing and um, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Um, it took a lot. You know, we all go through the trials of life and. Uh, being able to face the, the the different problems and issues or trials that help to elevate us and really sharpen us if we understand properly what they do. It evolves us, but at that time, you know, it's finally got to that point, brother. I had to drop to that knee, you know, and present that that circle of truth, that oneness, that 360 degrees of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of what it truly means to connect fully in a never ending cycle of life. And um, I was able to find that one, as Brother Prophet Jamar, Honorable Priest Kailash was saying, the one who you know and who you have faith in, you know, um, thoroughly, man. I said, this is, it just feels good. You know, now uh, how we're taught in the Nation of Islam is when you are calling yourself a Muslim and you say you submit to do the will of the most high, the most high or Allah or Jah, when you submit to do the most high, we're only considered 50% a Muslim, half. We're only working on 50% right now until we complete by getting married. Now we are whole. 
Uh, and so, I mean, the, from the moment she said yes, which it took a lot of strength to even do that, your brother was nervous <laughs> for a second. <laughs> I said, oh, it was crazy. You know, I mean, everything. I was good up until the very night. I said, man, this is crazy. It started sweating. It was like, okay, hold on. What's going on? I was cool. <laughs> I said, I was good until like five minutes before. I said, man. So, Brother Akeem, you got to, you up next, my brother. <laughs> So definitely, I said, um, yeah, it takes a lot of strength, you know, to be able to say I'm going to commit to going through this process of life with this person. And uh, as, uh, as the honorable priest was saying, you know, to include her in everything and to make sure she is aware because she's your partner. She's, you know, business partner, life partner. She's your spiritual partner. She can train with you when it comes to the physical, the fighting and the training and the exercising. Um, I mean, man, it just feels very, very good, but it, it's not an easy thing to move on, you know, and, and fortitude is not just strength, but it's strength where there's opposition present. So it's how strong are you when you have a barrier in front of you, when you have opposition, when you have something that's coming against you, how strong will you be? That is what fortitude is. And as a God, the word God, actually, a part of the word God means force and power or one who possesses force and power. So how strong are you as a God, as one who has some of the gifts of the Most High that we are supposed to exercise over this physical universe that we have with matter, energy, space, and time? And when you have your woman, she activates the other part of you that some of us didn't even know we had. Or we didn't understand it or we didn't overstand or we couldn't know how to break it down because every man has a feminine side of himself in balance. You know, when it becomes imbalanced, then you see what we're dealing with today, the lack of masculinity, the lack of strength in men, the lack of us being able to stand up and do what needs to be done to protect our society and make our communities a decent and safe place to live. Because it's the imbalance, you know, of our manhood and our, and our strength. But that does complete it. So, yeah, brother, I'm glad you brought that up, man. It, it definitely helps me to see a different side of, you know, what I am and, and who I am. And it adds to it. A lot of us think we do pretty good without a woman, you know. But when you when you really get the right one, man, I'm like, man, I'm ready to get to work for real. <laughs> I thought I was already doing work. But now it's like, wow. You know, you only elevate from this point. So give thanks, brothers. Definitely um, fortitude, I would say, becomes stronger when you have the proper woman by your side who adds to that and evolves you into a, a higher level of strength. So give thanks, brothers. If you about to turn up even more right now, like, I'm excited <laughs> to see what that what that next level is looking like. You know, I'm excited. We about to see that. <laughs> yeah, they man, super saying, brother. They, they, they are already throwing everything at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so that next level, you know, they ain't ready. They better, they better go to, they better go to the lab. Like, it's, like it's, they ain't ready. <laughs> okay, thanks. That's so, right. Good, thanks. I didn't know that in um, in Islam it says you're only half a Muslim until you find the one. Um, because right now in the in online space, one of the most common videos that that is like really taking over right now re relating to men is like this alpha uh, red pill where it's like the man is superior, like the man, like putting the men on this on this certain pedestal and like sort of like controlling the woman. You know, that's like a lot of the narrative being pushed right now with this alpha red pill, you know, and a lot of the. The youth, you know, like like our age, what and younger, what they're saying is like you really don't need to have a woman. You know what I mean? You you don't. You know, just go on your own and just like sort of more in the promiscuous or just engage with them when you want. You know what I mean? So I would love to to hear like like do you really need to have a woman to reach those next levels? Like, what do y'all think? Because I I believe this is a message that you know the the men need to hear really right now because everything is telling them the opposite. Um, what levels though? You know, um, 
Because you know, there's many levels in life, you know, like it, it, there's there's many levels, you know, it's just where where an individual would want to go, you know. Um and they some 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 you know, I, I think this is something they used to say in Africa from even a longer time, right? They say if if you want to go fast, you know, you can go by yourself, but if you want to go far then you have to tread, you know. Um, you have to tread with others, you know. And, you know, I feel like it's it's similar with, with for, for, yeah, for me, like where I want to go in life, I, I know exactly um, that that take a whole heap of feminine insight and intuition and, like, things where me, where, 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 where me, I try to discover within myself. You know, if I have the source of it beside it, it's like, you know, like why shoot yourself in the foot? You know, um, because actually, you, you know, I feel like a man who is determined to achieve, especially material things, you know, him can, him can possibly do so much faster. Not say without a woman, but without having any commitments. Because most of the man them who uh, don't commit to one woman, them have what heap of um, partners where them not committed to, you know. But it still, it still take time, it take effort, it takes um, vitality, it take focus. Just the same. So is most of them man is not really the focus that they're unwilling to give is the commitment and that um yeah just and discipline you get me that that's that's our generation's challenge so it's really that they want freedom from discipline but not say your ultimate freedom is more freedom from discipline and freedom from having to commit to anything you know um yeah and yeah and like most people will commit to something that is um constantly generating material um results or whatever you know and with as i'm saying like you and your empress can be working for years without where the only material result is the fact is that a family that is getting bigger and bigger and bigger but like you have certain ideas and certain work and you know, the empress can be working on for years you know and because of the magnitude that right, it take it take a while for, for forward you know so yeah and you know I, I see i see yeah i see enough of you them committed to them brethren and and all of that but they just you know some like youths you know and then we grew up, a lot of our youth them grew up in some family where them idea of a father is, you know, it's frightening for them. Like, they don't want to relive or put themselves at risk for relive what them father did go through. So them stay far from having to be a father or having to be a husband or having to be a god. <laughs> Can a man read about Jesus Christ and say, I don't want to end up like Jesus Christ or any of the other gods. So if you find, say, we, our generation really, you know, um, we need to get reintroduced to the beauty within it, you know. So it needs for another art. You know, of the beauty of a family, because a family is beautiful in you know, my lad. All right, it's when it's when you have a living family, my lad. No matter what happening in the world, Virgin, your family is your world. You get me? Your family is your world. So you have the world, and then you have your world. So when you hear a man saying he live in the world, but he is not of the world, that man surely have a good family. You know, because you don't have to dwell in the world, you know, and 
that you know now you have your own world you know so i feel like a lot of people don't want to have the responsibility of loving a whole world and um caring for a whole world and you know what i mean it's frightening for a lot of youth so i i think um one of our um work as a result is that we have to continuously expose the beauty in it you know you can never keep it a secret or um allow anyone to to say or or undermine the beauty of it you know because that's really what the problem is it, it really do get undermined you know and the and the the broken family is now what is being sensationalized you know and you know it's like it's uh, it's like someone will tell you it's okay to not have a family and it's okay to um and yeah of course everything is okay in the world you know me and jana and our songs i'm going to be okay so i know that everything is going to everything is okay so to tell me that it's okay to not have a family of course it's okay to not have a family but it if you look at it technically it come with a lot of repercussions for humanity you know for the family to be so generally undermined you know by the education by health by all the different institutions and factions of society you know like that make such a con- um such a conscious effort to undermine and understate the beauty of the family you know but the family is beautiful man. and that's one of the things you them need to know so yo, there's nothing more beautiful than a family you know like the family is the ultimate beauty you know um a family of anything is eternal you know it's only when it ceases to be a family where its existence is going question but as long as you are operate and live and function as a family the eternal because the family is the mechanism where we keep we're responsible for continuity and anything and fortitude you know yeah Bless the love family, welcome to today's High Grade Healing Herb Break. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about gully root, also known as Animu or Guinea Henweed. It's an immune system booster and that's why it's one of the main ingredients in the answer tincture. Gully root represents the principles of fortitude by having a taproot that's so deep into the earth that it doesn't matter if you try to pull on it, you come out with a pitchfork or an axe. What it's gonna do is gonna leave a portion of it in the soil, grounded in that principle of fortitude. It's an antiviral, antimicrobial, antifungal, and it's one of those herbs that our ancestors would use to remove evil spells and bad vibes from the space. And they also use it to clean the home and actually shower with it and bathe with it. So it's a real potent herb that represents the fortitude of a god. And I hope y'all enjoy the rest of this episode. Bless. Thanks. Yeah, sure. It's been a overall campaign like a lot of intention has been put to to degrading the family and making it seem like it's something we don't need and you know that goes and lends it to not having and telling us that there are certain types of family is you know it tell you that um you have all different types of family but there's only one type of family you know which is a, a great a good family we have a, a man. You know, I'm not talking about in modern time. In modern time is, is when a man and a woman can find a unified purpose. Is when you start have like a eternal thing get born in, in when that happens, there's this eternal thing where get born where destined for outlive the man and the woman you know in other earth like it destined the minute that happened something is born that is destined to outlive everyone who was involved in it's happening you get me because when you check how much grand and great grandparents it take to bring every one person take like maybe 200 great 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 granny man over time you know for make 
like one Akeem Pierre. <laughs> so you find say them tell you all sorts of things about the family, but you see when when you have a man and a woman can find that unified purpose and give birth to that eternal thing. That's really where a family is. You know, and it, it needs to be protected, you know, even though it's destined to be eternal. Anything get born in other earth subject to all different type of earth force. Cold darkness, you know, heat, air and water and deterioration and you know, lose your way and all of them thing, you know. Um, so it need protection. That's one of the main things. It needs security and protection, you know, just to make sure, say, the, the, the eternity can get fulfilled, you know. So they try to tell us that there's all different types. They tell us about nuclear family and all different kind of, all different kind of family, you know. But, you know, if you, if you look into it technically, you know, like what, what is the, the thing will make life continue and, and have continued for so long and what it will take in this time, you know? Because, you know, we have Abraham them time and them time man wasn't even like now. Man did totally different. So it's like now in this time, you know, we see say, this are the thing where I got, I got the salvation is tied up with this, you know? Yeah, truly. Good. Thanks. It's, it's key. So congrats to the honorable. Good. Thanks. And brother Reason, I wanted to tap in with you because these last couple of years and beyond, you know, but definitely within these last two years, you know, been put on the, the highest of lists. And as you said, fortitude is, is remaining, is having the strength when there's opposition. So you've been maintaining that for some time. Like, even if we go honorable priest, like priest, there's videos I, I see of you on YouTube from like 12 years ago. You know what I mean? And, and you see the fortitude and you see that go through time, you know? So it's super, super powerful. Um, but Brother Reza, if you could share some insights on the fortitude and how you maintain that fortitude and how you built up that fortitude. Brother Honorable Priest Kalash, he mentioned earlier, he said, I think he said Transformers Assemble. I think he uh, <laughs> was mentioning <laughs> how in the different movies and the different, you know, cartoons and uh, fictional representations of a reality that we deal with is that us coming together, you know, it's an example of first what happens inside of ourselves as individuals. So spiritually, mentally emotionally, physically, we have to become one with self first. Then we can establish a connection and become one with others. That's actually how we came together as a brotherhood um, because of the work being done by the priest over in St. Lucia, the work being done by Honorable Prophet Jamar in Jamaica and, and all over the world. And of course yourself as well, Brother Akeem here over in Canada and me here in uh, North America right below Canada, all of the work that we were doing, you know, separately was so strong and evident, but we could do more. And we noticed and recognized that we have to connect and reach out and build with those brothers on the same spirit so that we could be more effective than we already are. We're, we're being effective, but we can increase it. And one thing I noticed when it comes to this, um, as Brother Honorable Prophet Jamal was asking, or mentioning and what you asking, dealing with fortitude, coming up against opposition and still having to push through. A lot of people are not built the way we are. I mean, naturally, there has to be something inside of you that pushes you even when you can't push yourself. It is a deep, natural thing that that takes place inside of uh, each and every human being and uh, the priest was mentioning when it comes to pregnancy and childbirth a woman literally dies to give life a lot of men don't understand <laughs> the 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 particular type of pain that she has to experience uh, nine times out of ten or even eight times out of, out of ten in order to give life because the life that she has is being pulled from 
to create another life that will then be separated from her physically. So she has to die literally to give life. It takes a different kind of strength to move forward and push through that level of um, pain, opposition or a barrier. So when I'm dealing with what I'm dealing with, with the censorship, with the constant attacks from the government, with the being blocked, with the being labeled of, you know, all kinds of things. But I'm talking about being labeled a, you know, a hater, a bigot, um, an extremist, a racist, all these different labels simply for speaking the truth. You know, you got to find a way to push through that because then it, it can affect your money. It can affect your reputation. It can affect who will want to be around you because of how comfortable or uncomfortable they may be. You know, it, it pushes you into a different area or, you know, like in the hood, we'll say a different level of grind, a different grind mode, you know, where you have to push through to see exactly what you're truly made of. And I can just tell you, I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> I just I, I will never change a thing that works in the positive. You know, if there are things we do need to change, like, the, you know, if it's arrogance or ego or things that don't help, then we do need to change that. But when it comes to standing on principle, we can't change that. There is no sacrifice in that area um, when it comes to standing on what is right and doing what is right and doing what is best for our people. You know, that there, there is no, you know, you can't lack fortitude in this area. It can't it just can't be done. It is 2022 going into 2023 and we're still having the same arguments that many of our ancestors had. We're still having the same issues that many of our ancestors had. We're still dealing with the same problems. We're still dealing with the physical issues, still dealing with the mental issues, still dealing with the spiritual issues, still dealing with financial issues, etc. Because too many of us did not activate in our fortitude. Some men are afraid of their own strength. And that's another thing, because once you activate it, then you have to take responsibility for what comes with it, the good and the bad. So you <laughs> you may piss somebody off. You know, you may make somebody irritated. You know, some people may get uncomfortable. But if you're doing what is right, then that's OK. You know, it's like when when the priest, you know, I know a priest when we were going up uh, the gross piton. You know, Mountain, he, he just kept saying, movement, movement, <laughs> movement, let's go. <laughs> That's all it was the whole time because he would look down at us and he's like, come on, brothers, let's go. You know, we'll take like a break, like every, I don't know, man, it felt like it was like, it felt like an hour, two hours. Then it was a break. I mean, it was, it, man, it pushed us, brother. It pushed us. And then, you know, but at the end, we made it to the top and we were sitting above the clouds. You know, and, and that's where gods reside spiritually most of the time is in that higher state. And then we can sit there and, and bask in the beauty of what our hard work gave us. You know, I mean, it just all of it. I, I that's what we push for is to be able to relax. But, you know, a God can't relax if he hasn't worked. There's no point. What are you what are you relaxing for? What <laughs> that's why it's called recreation. Because it comes after work. Recreation, recreation comes after work. So, you know, it has to be a, a process where we're willing to push through. And as we're uh, the way we say a nation is we meet and overcome all obstacles in our path. All obstacles. You know, we have no choice. So, no, it's it's a powerful thing, brothers. And, and you know, we witness the, the, the benefits. I'd rather be a brother making six figures because he stands on principle than making tens of millions because he sold a soul. You know, and you can make tens of millions by standing on principle. And we will. We will. You know, with, with the most high Allah God behind us, we will do that. But no, the yeah, fortitude is non-negotiable, especially when it comes to the opposition. We can't break it because we think that will lose some type of position or opportunity or friendship or whatever. No, you just have to keep pushing forward. And that's why we're building everything on our own. Like the priest said, we have to have our own transportation systems, our own boats, our own planes and jets and everything. Yeah, everyone else has it. Why, why should we have it? We need to. It's going to happen anyway. You know, so that's the that's the key there. It's, we just have to keep pushing through. Good, thanks. Keep pushing through and. And as we push through, like, 
sometimes you feel like you may not be able to push through, you know, but as you continue to push through, then you develop that strength. You develop that, that power and then you know you got that next level. So I feel like, you know, as we're on this, on this journey, as we're, we're here standing on principles and we face opposition, it's really, that's a huge part of us stepping into our power, stepping into that, that godliness and developing that fortitude is every time we come across that opposition, we keep going and then we develop the tools that needed. We develop the mindset. We develop the perspective. We may develop communities. We may cleanse people out of our lives, different thoughts out of our life, different energies out of our life. So it's just that facing of that. And I feel that just that perspective of it, of like going up against this opposition, it means you're doing something right, really. Like you on the right path, keep going. You know, what did, what did Pri say? He said, they don't cast, they don't cast stones if there's no fruit. You know what I mean? Like if there, if there's no fruit on the tree, they ain't throwing no stones, right? So you got to give thanks that there is some fruits, some abundance that you have that's even making the opposition come. So that fortitude and just keep pushing and keep going through it and to not be afraid because it, it came up twice, basically one with the family and then one with standing up in principles where we just, uh, we don't even want to get into that. We don't want to be dealing with what it takes to, to commit to rise into that next level of a power. So we just settle and we stick with what we have, right? But as we know, this is what, this is our path. Like this is meant for us. We're meant to be on this journey and everything that comes in our path, like we're gonna rise up above it and we're gonna develop that fortitude and that strength to make it to that and then get to these next steps on our journey. But we can't be afraid to start. You know what I mean? We can't be afraid to first accept that responsibility and everything that comes with it you know so i feel that that's powerful just that that keep going that keep going keep going keep going and and know that it's going to come and it's going to develop over time as well you know because as we look back and we look at the 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 things that we go through now compared to back then i don't know about y'all but sometimes i think about like you know, if I didn't go through everything I went through back then, I don't think I'd be able to deal with what's going on right now. You know, so I guess thanks. That's that's super key. And um, Priest would love to to hear from your side because you know you've been you've been on this mission. As I was saying, like like you're one of the first YouTubers really spreading this health consciousness. You know what I mean? And you're still there twice a week, twice as strong on the lives, you know, um, still getting celebrated and not still, because this may be early when it comes to Liberty and Mount Kailash being recognized in St. Lucia like that, you know? So, um, yeah, like for you, like what is the insight, some, some tips, some mindsets, some perspectives on how you maintain that and stand on those principles over time and continue to just keep going? The answer is just like a natural gift that, you know, we have been able to extract out of nature in, in such a way that people can use it. Yeah, and in many different ways I'll use it. Use it in juice, you know, drop it in a juice, same way. And, you know what I mean, in tea, same way. All different type of ways I'll use it, you know. Most times I take it in water, you know what I mean? Like, you know, if you're ever on the road and you, you need to sanitize your hand, like, you know what I mean, with, with something that you know is like antibacterial at the same time, you know, that is one of the things they can use the answer for, you know. It's for people who undergo and people who are trying to incorporate the natural liberty into everyday modern life, you know what I mean? So, it's a gift. You know, we give thanks, it's an answer, you know, for real. Yeah, so definitely we give thanks for life and a mighty life giver once more and we give thanks for this divine opportunity to sit forward and reason as um, one of the questions I was asked is whether um, the, the 
aspect of the youth nowadays not wanting to, the, the young man nowadays not wanting to actually um, be together with the uh, woman, you know, and, and like be in a relationship. And um, as Brother Reza Islam was completing his, his words, he was, he was saying, well, you have to push through. And then I was smiling and I'm saying, but look, you're still speaking of the woman. Because <laughs> the woman has to push she pushes through, definitely, you know. So, uh, it, it comes forward to self-love, right? Um, because going into a relationship of commitment and, and getting a woman means that you, you are going to have children, you know. And it comes to self-love because the woman affords you the opportunity to actually reproduce yourself. You know, so as a man, if you love yourself enough, right, you love yourself enough that you feel that that need to reproduce yourself. Okay? So when a man and a woman actually comes together, it gives the man that upper the opportunity to reproduce himself. So if the man is just thinking about himself alone, right? And not even to say, well, he cares about anybody else, just about himself. And he loves himself to that extent and is so comfortable with self. He says, wow, there needs more of I in this space, man. I'm going to reproduce myself to put more of Chris Kailash in the place. Then definitely there comes the need for a woman. Because the woman is that vessel that affords you that opportunity to reproduce yourself. So whatever you are, right, and you put it into the woman and you get it out and then you, you reproduce yourself. So the self-love, when you love yourself enough to want to reproduce or recreate yourself, right, then, I mean, obviously, you'd see the need for a woman. So when a man say, well, he doesn't see the need for a woman or or, or, or coming together. That means that, okay, well, wait, so doesn't he want to reproduce himself? I want to reproduce myself. I have lots of little bees. <laughs> you know, and if it is that you really want to give give that to the world, that, that, that of more of yourself, then you have to definitely have that level of, of self-love, you know, whereby you could actually come together with this woman and reproduce yourself. You're not even um, concerning about anything just because of you, because you love you. You love you so much that you're going to reproduce you and fire the, the woman. And she has to push through it. So we give thanks for, for, for the strength, you know, because fortitude is strength. You know, to actually um, persevere. You know, so they say persevere, discipline and perseverance is definitely the key to success. You know, it's, I mean, what's life without being free? You know, so I always say to myself that even, um, Brother Risa, you know, one day you're going to be invited to the White House, you know. <laughs> they invite you to the White House where everybody see. I'm okay. serious, man. Yeah. Um, I remember going into a country called St. Martin, right? And I was, I was on, the, on this radio interview and I spoke of cancer and I just said, well, chemo don't work because if chemo work, you, you would need radio. And if radio work, then you would need to do chemo again. So I said, well, surgery don't work because, you know, when you cut off, then you have to chemo. And chemo don't work. When you chemo, you still have to radio. So that means that whatever you're doing doesn't work. And, and at that time, I was a lot more fiery. You know? <laughs> I've learned how to articulate myself <laughs> differently. <laughs> Just we're go to the early videos on your YouTube channel. If y'all want to see that fire, <laughs> go check out some of those videos. And um, and I was on this interview, and I'm going to this lecture. And when I get there, you know, there is the chief of police, the chief of immigration, the chief, the chief medical officer. Every chief, there are about six or seven chiefs. That they pull me into this back room and say, well, my lecture can't go on because da, 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 I'm giving a, a, a medical advice without having a license to do so in St. Martin. And da, 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 da. 
you know, you've been invited to give a talk at that hotel, and that's the only place you could do it, and they confiscate everything I had. They confiscated everything I had, you know, and they asked me, so so there, there were about seven of them or so, all the heads, and they asked me to sit down. <laughs> They want to speak to me. So they have this chair and, and they ask me to sit down. I said, no. I don't want to sit down. <laughs> so I stood up. <laughs> you know, and the agents had already come from before. So that the my assistant that was there with me, they had already interviewed him and asked him about, oh, do you have any laxatives or blah, blah, blah. And he said, yeah, man, we, are, we don't have any right here, but we have in the car. Blah, blah, blah. So the agents came from before, you know, and interviewed him. Like as if they were patients. <laughs> and when the when the heads came and all of them were there, so I was standing and all of them were sitting. That was the first victory. Yeah. And at the end of it they say, Well, you can't have you can't have the lecture. I'm telling you the hall is filled. The hall is packed and people just checking it. You know, and during the day it was nice and sunny, you know, and the place was beautiful, beautiful weather. And as they canceled the lecture, and then they said, we will take all the medicines you have to, those in the trunk of the vehicle. <laughs> because I had already known that they would have come. My spirit had already told me, so I told my assistant, don't take out any goods. Right? But, the, but he never realized that an agent came to him asking him about sickness. And he told them he had medicine, so they were telling me now that they know that I have some laxatives and stuff in the trunk of the vehicle, so they want all of that when I'm leaving the country, they're going to give it back to me. And then the weather actually transformed, and clouds, it was about 7 o'clock in the night, and lightning, and rain, and we drive it back to the hotel, because their intention was really to embarrass me. And to deport me and all the different type of things, but I just told them I'm a priest, you know. Yes, I went to medical school, I got a medical school dropout and all that, right? And I'm a priest, you know, and I have a right to educate my people, you know. So I wasn't. I'm not operating in the office of a doctor prescribing anything. I'm a priest, you know, and. I'm telling you that you'll be invited to the White House because down the line, I'm telling you, brethren, that it's just perseverance and discipline, you know, because someone who is true and sincere is needed, right? You need it. You are needed. If 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 people are if they have to choose some people to go to the, to Mars and re-inhabit, you're gonna be there because they need someone like yourself. But like they would have no reason Islam in on Mars. I mean, it would be boring, you know. So. Eventually, what happened down the years, you know, right? The the son of the prime minister became my patient. You understand? That is coming to me in the same St. Martin. Right? The son of the prime minister, the, I mean, immigration and, and, and police. And I'm talking about up there. Right? So the same people that fight right are the same people because i never compromised the next day there was this huge headline you know quack um quack da, 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 but that, that made me more famous you know because i got front page you know that's I right for front page with this man you know and then another another, another newspaper came out to interview, interview me so i had two front page you know and the same people who fight me became my patients you know, so people who actually drank my medicines and felt good and oh priest gilash, priest gilash, and you know, so you don't have to, to worry about it, brethren. Right? It's it's better to how I how I see it is that, you know, um it's better to live a full life, you know, it's better it's about quality, not quantity. You know, so it's better you live a full life with courage than to die a punk. Coward, you know, a traitor, you know. So it's a long time I I, I have I, I come to that overstanding, you know. So there is nothing to lose, really. What is to lose? Because what what do we have? <laughs> we have nothing to lose, 
there's a you there trying to save your life and what you have nothing to lose. There's nothing, you have nothing, you have no big establishments, nothing together, no shipping line, no big airplane, there's no big manufacturing, no huge farms feeding millions of people and no, we have nothing, no, nothing to lose. So the position that we are in is a position where fortitude, courage, right, is necessary. It's a prerequisite. You know, so it's not it's not about an option, it's a prerequisite. You know, because it's not gonna be easy, you know. You have to be courageous because the giants are gonna look big and you know, I remember when I told um Rasa Kim at the time that that's long ago when he just came to St. Lucia, I tell him, Bertrand, you know I'm being shadow band, you know. Yeah, you never need you need to say you know, you know, when you see my videos have have a, a, have a hundred views, it rarely has probably a hundred thousand views. You know, every hundred is a hundred thousand. That was probably two thousand that was about what, six, seven years ago. You never you never understood what I was telling him. So I t- so I told him, Well, you just take what I am saying. Just take it and take this little thing and let's do this little thing together and just put it out. <laughs> and when he put it out, even next to no time was seven hundred thousand views and da 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 right. Da, da. So I say, you see? See, you see how, how, how fast it actually goes. So, when it is that you are principled, you know, when it is that you you want you, you could sit on that that principle and that truth and and it's, and as as Honorable Prophet Jamar say, you know, it's not about um, how many likes, you know, the likes and then that, that that song, right? And you live yeah. that world, like, you know. And, and and you're looking for that for that thing, but long time ago, Honorable Priest Isaac told me, you know, when we in a reasoning, and he said, Priest, you know, they have, they have a, they have another world, you know, that nobody sees, you know, when it's deep meditation. That was when I was in medical school, two thousand and, and three, four, in in the most spirit, in the most spiritual and enlightening time of my life. <laughs> that time, I, that's when I, I first like saw God, like literally, like God, literally. You know, you know, even if you know a long time you see God, but that time two thousand three and four, I saw God like, oh, you have, when you see God, you cry, you know? like you get overwhelmed, you know, like your heart just melts, and you know. So he said, "Priest, there's another world. There's a there's a a world whereby when you do good, there are people clapping for you, but you won't see it on CNN and Fox and be blind, right? So there is a world." Whereby the righteous, right, is being honored, but you're not seeing it. But the good that you do, there are angels, there are people, there are energies that's clapping and pushing you along. You know, so even if you know you don't get the chairs of the world, as the as the as the prophet Jama of this world, but of not you you know you have another world. When you understand that other world, that family extends into all type of people around you that's cheering for you, and you know, well, you, you have to persevere and you have to actually be consistent, you know. So when a man finds that he is important enough, enough to reproduce himself, replicate himself, then he needs a woman to reproduce himself. And when you come home into and you see all these little yous, you know, and but I can say all all that, all of these, you know, because I have I have a good amount, you know, and and I give thanks for that. Right? Rastafari, right? You know, and and still all of these different aspects of you are still unique. <laughs> so you can understand that. The, the fullness of that. I remember also when I met the I um, honorable Brother Riza Islam. I remember we had this conversation. You know, so there is not one young man that I would meet and I would tell him, brethren, don't waste your sperm in a man. You know, if you have a woman, don't waste time. Commit. You know, go 100%. You know, don't waste time. Involve her in everything. You know, partner with it 100%. You yes, remember sir. we had this conversation. You know, and to see that 
within that space of time, the manifestation of so many of the things that we have spoken of. You know, I, I feel good and I feel joyous in my heart that the gods are indeed rising. You know, so from that rising of the God that we had, so many things has manifested. So I was sitting today and I was saying that that we need to have a rising of the gods too. Like it's a necessity. That so I was just and I was saying, but wait. You know, um, I, I remember we discussed bringing um, some youths from LA and, and, and from Compton and, and bring some youths, even probably from Jamaica or some, some youths, and bring them in together. And really, you know, um, so into them. So I say we really need to um, organize a game for another rising of the gods, you know, and and. You know, just really sow some, some seeds into the youth. You know, because a lot of our young men are fatherless and they don't know they don't know any different, you know. So when they come out of that space and come into this new space, you know, and surrounded by this energy, definitely I, I was saying definitely honorable, we need to um, stay true to that. The rising of the gods and make sure that we continue to sow into the youths and create many great things. Ja, Rastafari, bless it. Blessings. Give thanks, y'all. So we are, it's been a potent episode. Give thanks for everyone who's been tuning in from home. Uh, next episode, we're going to start having questions where y'all can submit questions for us to answer. And we're going to have a segment where we're going to be answering those for you on the podcast. So make sure you send us some messages. Go to the Rising of the Gods Instagram, or you can message each one of us individually, send that message, but probably best go to the Rising of the Gods Instagram and send that message and get your questions in, and we're going to make this a little more interactive so y'all could really get in tune with us. And, and whatever, if you hear something you want to get us to go deeper in, you can bring forward that question. So give thanks, y'all, for tuning in. Give thanks, my brothers, the guys on the panel and the podcast, sending y'all so much love. It's such an honor. Like, <laughs> I could just be reading it all night. You know what I mean? Like, each of y'all, I just want to just, when I'm here sitting, listening to y'all, it's, it's just a, it's an honor. I really just want to say, just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> I don't even want to, like, switch the topics and, and conversations, you know? So it's an honor to, to reason with y'all. And, you know, I give thanks and for everyone who's tuning in, you know, let us know what parts of the episode you really resonate with. Make sure you, you share this podcast with people in your life who you feel are going to benefit. Because if you just harvest that information and keep it for yourself, it's not really doing good to the community at large, you know. So you want to surround yourself with that community that's tuned in and on that vibration, you know. So, so make sure you share that. And much love to y'all. Y'all want to say anything before we wrap up today? Give thanks. Give thanks. We Gucci. All right. Much love, y'all. Blessings to everyone. And see you on the next episode. Thanks, brothers.